Hello everybody, welcome back to This Is How We Rock. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five tips on how we got our kids to eat healthy and on board on this eating a plant-based diet. Uh, yeah, so it's not easy. So if you tuned in because you're already on a plant-based diet or you just wanna um, prepare healthier meals for yourself and for your family and you just need the kids to hop on board with that, uh, here are my tips on how we got our kids started. All right, so you're ready to start this healthier meal prep, for example, and you want your kids to eat the same way because it saved me so much money and time and energy uh, when we all started to eat the same things for dinner or for lunch. So uh, it took me a while, it didn't happen overnight, but here are five simple ways that I tested and it worked for my kids on how I got them to switch to a healthier way of eating. Hi. Okay, so let's say that I stopped all of a sudden, that's the only sudden thing that I did, buying snacks, like prepackaged snacks. Uh, we don't eat any of that anymore. I started to replace all those with nuts, cashews, you know, the softer type of nuts that are easier for the kids to chew on. I like um, cashews. Yeah, or dates, bites, because it's so sweet and they actually trick her to think that it's chocolate what they're eating, but it's actually dates. Um, so all little things like that. So we switched to whole foods snacks instead of those prepackaged things you find anywhere in the supermarket. And besides so the obvious thing that every mom always tries to do, which is hide the veggies in whatever sauce we're making, tomato sauce, whatever it is that we're making, we always make sure that we hide the veggies in there, right? So tip number one is, should I sit there in front of you? Um, yeah. Well, this is, I think, what really made it happen in our family, which is start with fruit. What it means is they start uh, letting them switch to a more plant-based diet by using mostly fruit because that's so much easier for the kids to just actually like. So we started to eat plenty of kiwis, mangoes, you know, all those sweeter kind of fruits, grapes, all this stuff. And I used to put a little bit of nuts next to them so that they would feel like full and you know they just get used to replacing a big heavy meal of carbs or empty carbs like pasta and stuff like that with more whole foods options and uh, yeah so they really do and so yeah so fruit uh, let them have plenty of fruit make smoothies with that uh, another thing that we eliminated completely from our diet is dairy because dairy causes all kinds of inflammation in your body uh, it's okay if you don't agree with that. <laughs> if your raw milk is so good for you, but we don't have access to that, so we had to switch to almond uh, milk or hemp milk, oats milk, any other milk alternative, basically. So when we make a smoothie, we dump a lot of fruit, especially berries, right? Yeah. Because those really do good to your body, to your bloodstream, it cleans it all out and uh, bananas you know whatever you have a hand just throw it in there for some almond milk maple syrup or honey and your kids are definitely gonna love it and they're gonna honey. feel full right and another thing that i use in order for them not to uh, feel hungry it's using plant proteins like hemp hearts for example there's so many options right now in the market so uh, you do your researches and you make your choice number two tip what i did with my kids and we still do that we i let them study what's in season so every time the season changes or we actually going now month by month we study what uh, out in that month, in this specific month, uh, as far as fresh produce. So they have fun coming and shopping with me and look for those items and put them in the cart and bring them back home. So the fact that they even even tried probably most of the produce makes them more excited about wanting to do so. Uh, and that's, and that happened. It's like a little magic trick. <laughs> so definitely try that. Try to take them shopping with you after they studied what they're gonna try and think. It's like almost so you can play like a bingo game when you're out there in the grocery store, right? Yeah. Don't you have fun looking for all those rainbow colors? Wild cabbage and wild cabbage. That's right. And then, okay. So that leads me to tip number three. 
All right, so the battery went off. Then leads me to tip number three, which is let them help you in the kitchen for as much as you possibly can do with little ones, but let them help you cook because they take pride in cooking and you know, put the food on the table and tell everybody in the family, you know what, I actually made this meal and they're more likely to eat it and even the siblings are more likely to try it. So what we do is that each day, I have an assistant, right, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to know what he's doing right now. You're doing some exercise, you want to talk? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they all take turns because it used to be just fighting over where to cook. So we take turns, one person a day, right? Yeah. And we cook with mommy. Yes. And you guys make the meals that we eat at the end. I made a bread. Come here, they can see it. Tell them. You made bread the other day, right? I made bread the other day. So tip number four, and I actually got this tip from Andrea Mills YouTube channel, where she let the kids have like a little game, a challenge, because you know the kids can resist challenges, uh, where the kids have to try a different fruit or a different vegetable for the week. And then the one, ah, my time is up. The one who tried the most of the fruit and vegetables will get a little reward. They can be, going out for a date with you or going out with you for the next shopping trip, right? Or a little fun thing. So yeah, definitely try that. I've got two little ducklings right here and I'm trying to finish this video. Now, last tip, tip number five, and I think that this is the biggest one. It is the presentation, how you present food to your kids. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna let you know. So I think it's very important on how we present the food to our kids because you can basically kind of feed them anything you want if it's presented on a nice plate or you know if you have a tablecloth out just to make it special for them and especially the family time. So yeah, family time I think is very important. If you turn your dinner time into a conversation time with your kids and just to make it fun and special, I think it will make all the difference. Yeah, so let's try to eat more often together as a family uh, because I think it's really important for the kids uh, to develop also healthy habits because if they see you eating the stuff, eating fish, vegetables and fruit, I think they're more likely to try, you know, they copy a lot, they watch a lot and they hear a lot. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you find a little bit of inspiration. Hey, man, remember to watch it. Bye. I press the button down below to get all our videos.